2.2 Embedded Introduction What is Connected Services Embedded? Connected Services Embedded is a native secure software feature incorporated in the new robot controllers, which doesn't require a service box anymore when the robot has outbound access to the internet. Controller Preparation We need to provide internet connectivity with the controller through the one port. We need to verify that the robotware version is at least 6.04 in the system information properties. One connection settings. We need to configure the one IP address for internet connection. Go to the Start Boot application, select Automatic IP Address or Static IP Address. Verify the IP address by going to the System Info, Network Connections, and then 1. Enable CSE. First, we need to define the connection settings. Go to the Control Panel and in the Topic Communication, you select Connected Services and then enable it. The connection type is set to Customer Network, the connection cost is set to Low, and if you have a proxy, you need to enable it here. Then you can define the proxy parameters. We can verify if Connected Services is enabled by going to the System Info, Software Resources, Communication, Connected Services and select the Overview page. Connect CSE To verify the connection, go to the System Info, Software Resources, Communication, Connected Services and select the Server Connection page. Here we can see that it's trying to connect but it cannot resolve the name of ABB server rseprod.abb.com as there is no DNS. To define the DNS, go to Configurations, Communications, DNS Client and select the DNSC page. Here you enable it and put the IP of the DNS server, in this case called 8888. Go back to the server connection page and verify that the server IP has been resolved and that we're able to receive the certificate information of the ABB server. Register CSE When the controller is connected, we need to register it. If you go to the registration page, you should find a code, take this code and go to My Robot, select the registration menu in the upper right corner. Enter the registration code for this controller and press the registration button. After a while, it will be automatically registered. To verify the registration, go back to the registration page and make sure that the controller is registered. When we're done, we can see the service agreement information retrieved from server on the overview page so that the customer can verify it. Register My Robot. The registration phase is done using My Robot. The customer on site gets a code from the controller that he gives to an administrator that can log in to My Robot and enter the code. When pressing the register button, the code will be sent after a while to the controller. It can take from 1 to 10 minutes for the registration to be done. To accelerate the registration, we can refresh the registration page on the controller teach pendant, which forces a registration check. When the registration is done, it will display as registered on my robot page. Then we have a certified and secure connection. Connection cost. The connection cost parameter is important to define how frequently the robot controller will check the server to verify if a manual command is pending. With connection cost low, it will be every minute, medium every 10 minutes, and on high every hour. It is recommended to keep connection cost low until registration is done. System Diagnostic 
In case of problems with connections or registration, it's possible to get the information for ABB in the system diagnostics. Go to the control panel and then the diagnostic page to create a system diagnostics file. Connection DHCP Topology with the local DHCP server. Here we have a DHCP local server. It acts as a gateway to internet and gives access to the DNS server. In this case, we can define the WAN configuration to be automatic. The robot controller will automatically receive for its one port, one IP address, one mask and a gateway. It will also automatically receive the DNS server. This means that we don't need to specifically enable the DNS or to create a route. Connection Static Here we have topology with a static server on the production network. In this case, we need to define the one IP address on the controller in a static way to match the subnet of the static server. It uses the static server as a gateway. We need to enable the DNS. We can use the Google DNS 8888 or another DNS that is public. In this case, we don't need the root because a static server is a gateway to Internet. Connection with Gateway Here we'll use an Internet gateway that is installed in parallel of the local server of the production network. The Internet gateway needs to be on the same subnet as the local server. Then the robot can access the local server and the Internet gateway on this same subnet. We keep on one configuration, the gateway pointing on the local server 192.168.22.1. We need to add a DNS server. We can use either the Google server 8888 or another one. We need to add some routes for the controller to access the embedded connected services server 138.227.175.43 and the DNS server 8888 through the Internet Gateway IP 192.168.22.200 Connection with LAN 3 we can use connected services on the LAN port 3 if the one port is already in use. In this case, the one port is connected to the local server, which is not a gateway to Internet, nor a DNS server, but has to be the gateway for the robot. Then we create a separate subnet with an Internet gateway going to Internet. For the robot configurations, we keep the one configurations going to the local server. Then we configure and enable LAN 3 with an IP address on the same subnet as the Internet Gateway server. We define the DNS to go to the DNS server that we will use, for example the Google server 8888. Then we need to add routes for the connected services traffic to go through the Internet Gateway. We add routes to access the embedded connected services server 138.227.175.43 and the DNS server 8888 through the Internet Gateway IP 192.168. 331 Verification connection It's possible to verify the connectivity of a robot using connected services embedded. We can go on the web portal. There is a service box created with the same name as the controller serial ID. The service boxes are grouped under the tab Embedded to differentiate them from other real service boxes. Verification connection ping. When we select the serial ID of an embedded service box, 
we get connectivity information about the associated robot. In the same way that we can find information about real service boxes. For example, the last communication time, what software version is installed, the last time we had connection with the controller, and information about the network configuration. To verify the current connectivity with the robot equipped with Embedded, we can do a ping to the robot controllers. To do this, we select the service box associated to the robot with the serial ID. We go to the support page and we click on the ping button. The ping command will be queued on the server every minute the robot will check if there is a command pending like the ping. After one minute or less, we'll receive information that the robot has been able to get the ping. That helps to verify that the server is able to connect to the robot. Verification Reboot It's also possible to reboot the box. To reboot the box, click on the Reboot button. The connected robot will check if there is a reboot command pending. It does that every minute and it could take up to one minute before we've received information. The reboot will then be in progress. The connected services module on the robot controller will be completely rebooted and when it's finished it will display completed. It's also possible to do a reset in the same way to completely remove the information in the controller and to rerun connected service embedded from scratch. This will update all the data collection script code also. Verification Get New Information It's also possible to retrieve connected service information about the controller. We can go into the web portal in the service box associated to the embedded controller and then head over to the service box details page, click on Get New Information. The robot will send information in less than one minute. When the information is retrieved, we'll be able to update the information displayed by pressing on the small Refresh button on the tab. Troubleshooting one of the most frequent problems for Embedded Connected Service is the connectivity between the robot controllers and the ABB server on the Internet. To verify the status and get information, we can on the Teach Pendant or Robot Studio go to System Info page. From the Communication node under Software Resources, we can go to Connected Services and then Server Connection. On this page, we find information about the connection status. If it is connected, not connected or trying to connect. The server name is the name of the connected services server on the internet. The server IP is the IP of the connected services server on the internet. If the server IP is not displayed, that means there is a problem with the DNS server which has not been able to resolve the server name to an IP address. At the bottom of this page, there is the name of the DNS servers which are used for the name resolution. If they're not defined, or if they're not working, we'll have some IP resolution issues. When the IP is resolved, we need to verify that it's the correct one, which should be 138 227 4-3. The controller will try to connect to the server and retrieve the server certificate. We can verify that the certificate has been correctly retrieved on this page and that it is a valid ABB certificate. When everything is correct, IP address, server certificates and connected status, we can continue to registration. The robot controller is now connected successfully to the server rseprod.abb.com To verify if the connectivity is working using a PC, we can take the robot configuration of the one port IP address, mask, gateway, the DNS IP and the routes if there are any, 
and configure a PC with exactly the same network configurations and then connect the PC instead of the robot to the Internet Gateway network. On the PC, we can verify the connectivity to the server by opening a browser and going to the URL https colon slash slash rseprod.abb.com. If the page opens, it means that we're able to connect to the ABB server. If it doesn't connect, it could also be a DNS problem. To verify DNS, we can run a shell command. nslookup rseprod.abb.com and then we'll be able to verify if the DNS is able to resolve the name of the server and retrieve the correct IP address. Troubleshooting logs In the controller, it's also possible to retrieve logs about embedded connected services. We can go to the event log page, go on view and select connected services from the event log filtering list. This will display the list of all the embedded connected services log history and we can select one to get more information. Reset connected services on the controller. It's possible to completely reset the connected service embedded information including the certificates. To do this, we go in the Page Program Editor. We have a service routine to do that. In the Program Editor, we select Call Routine. We have the list of the different service routines. We'll select the routine called Remote Service Reset. To run it, we press on the Go To button. When we've pressed the button, it will propose to execute the service routine by pressing on the Start button. When the routine has started, it will wipe out every information about embedded connected service and all the history of data. Press the Reset button to execute. If we want to reuse connected services embedded, we will need a new registration. If we want to disable connectivity to the server, we just need to disable connected services in the system parameters.